Hello and welcome back to another episode of Skyrim Requiem 3 BF Tweaks. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the Diaries of Death series with our Season 4, Episode 2 I think it is. We're following Geoffrey de Loch, um, an archer, a Bosmar archer from the south of Falkreath who has made his first um, yeah, run-in with a few bandits last time. We leveled up. We're going to play an archer-ish build uh, with one hand alchemy and smithing. So a non-magical archer. And today uh, I wanted to give you first a debrief of what has happened behind the scenes because that is oftentimes as important as the actual gameplay. And then we jump right into some bandit killing. So for starters, again, we do have quite a bit of potions available um, for our adventure we still have uh, some meat that work uh, that we can take we'll use uh, fortify uh, health potion as well so not much has happened with the equipment but i have been busy quite busy and used uh, the uh, uh, caravan to travel basically to any safe location. And the reason why I'm exploring all of these things uh, I've been, uh, and all of them, by the way, are explorable at level one, so there is no risk. You can basically just run away. I've moved from town to town. But the reason why I'm doing this is Kinnereth, uh, as a blessing, has an interesting gift. It will increase the movement speed by 2, 4, 6, 8 and 10%. Uh, so in intervals of 2% increases for every 25 locations that you have uh, successfully scouted. And we're currently short, just shy of 75 locations, uh, which would give us the 6% movement speed. Movement speed, very important if we want to run away from the enemy. So we're going to go into this with uh, one of our stronger arrows just to see how well it works and this being ember chart mine should be a lot of fun oh yeah he's being hit quite hard all right frame rate drop dangerous frame rate drop Holy. Well, I gotta fix uh, that issue right away. Something is not. Uh, something is definitely not right with the frame rates. Let me fix that and we'll go into Ambushard Mine. Good. Hopefully, we have fixed the issues with the frame rates. Off we go into Ambushard Mine, everyone's favorite dungeon. The dungeon where many dreams of Requiem players have been shattered people coming into the series without any pre-knowledge uh, might find this one here to be surprisingly hard it's the first introduction into the requiem mechanics Okay, that was costing all of our stamina. Got to manage that a bit better going forward. Back to the heavy bow. We're going to use that whenever we are trying to lure someone in. Really? Wow. Good. 
good. The dodge perk makes our life much easier because we can easily move in and out. <clears throat> and being quick means uh, that they will have a harder time catching up. <laughs> really? Well, I'm sorry, buddy, but that's not going to happen. You have to go. So let's see about the loot. That's not bad. I like it. Time for us to further move in. The answer is yes, my, my dude. No one bests an orc. Well, I wouldn't be too sure about that. Killed plenty of orcs. another round and thanks to the dodge perk and our quick feet both of them actually died relatively speaking easily Should get some lockpicks, by the way. Yes, I believe we're still not capable of uh, opening that extra door. Uh, there are a couple of valuable items, uh, though. We can get light armor forging. We can get that, which is helpful. Besides the obvious amount of ore that's lying around, which I can get to later when we're smithing a few more arrows. There's a lot of food, which is irrelevant for us. This here is helpful. All right, let's try that again. Oh, come on. Well, I guess we can all agree I suck at lockpicking. <coughs> but yeah, it's not perked, uh, so it's quite difficult uh, to open it. Let's get uh, a shield up. Good. Well, that was Ember Shard Mine. Short and sweet. Oh, nice. He actually had quite a few bolts. Uh, if we were to run 
uh, crossbow built. That would be helpful, but we're not. We're an archer. Good. Next up, a few more bandits. All right, so we're doing everybody's favorite quest, Ron uh, the Crow. Well, it's not really a, a quest. It's a single individual with a lot of bandits assisting him. And typically they are a problem because most of them are ranged, uh, as you can see. But we're doing actually quite well against uh, ranged. And since it's run, let's take a 45 marksmanship potion. And let's also take a 45 health uh, just so we make sure that we're not getting one shot. I think that's a trickster. It's definitely a bandit that is hard to hit. All right. This might be Ron already. Yep, it's him. Ron is a decent ranged combatant. But he's even a more fearsome melee combatant. Good, two down. The 45 marksman has definitely worked out well. Here's a nice bow and uh, the weapon is a straight up upgrade as uh, well. Before looting him, I would like to deal with the last bandit. Fire arrows, really? I don't know what these frame rate drops are, but they are only happening in the opening, so I think it might be some uh, it might have something to do with the 4K textures that I installed. It's a bit worrying. So hunting bow and bouncer is what we came here for, which is a straight upgrade to Iron Maze. In our carved bowl. Plus, we got a lot of arrows net net out of it. With Bouncer, we have a weapon that in itself is already a highly desirable weapon. And with a bow, we certainly have uh, an upgrade. It's a quite solid bow unless we're finding something in one of uh, the chests. We actually should be quite uh, fine. Okay. Wow. I wasn't expecting that, to be honest.
had a scroll uh, that brought us uh, down quite a bit. There is a smithing increase uh, that we were looking for. And there is the boss chest. Lots of insights. Armor forging. We're not going... We're not going into enchanting, so I'll leave uh, that weapon be for now. What we can do, though, is uh, start leveling up. Marksmanship to 25 to begin with. And I believe we need more levels, which is where we're going to level all of the other skills to 25, the other relevant skills to 25, which is in this case one-handed. That will give us access to a few perks there. Uh, evasion to 25 just so that we do have that and I think dexterity would make a lot of sense as well cool which then brings us to smithing which would be the next one that I would level we're going one more in stamina Matter of fact, I would like to go two more in stamina, then one in health. Keeping that stamina all the way up there, we have three perks and... I'm wondering... Oh, it requires base uh, dexterity, not advanced dexterity. Okay, cool. Well, we're going to get there eventually. We don't need uh, the armor penetration yet. Why is that not skilled? We have skilled it before. Let me look into this. I think I might have uh, the game has cheated us out of one perk. That would not be good. I'll I'll get that fixed and for the next um, perk I believe what we can do is we can start with a smithing craftsmanship and um, lay the foundation for a bit better uh, smithing or alternatively one hand weapons since we have said we wanted to go into that direction or lock picking one which i believe would potentially be a good idea uh, let's take lock picking one and uh, that'll be it for now thank you all right next up we are north of white run time to do a further bandit camp did i hear a dog oh yeah Good. One of the bandits down. Two down. Thanks to the dodge perk, we can easily outkite them in the open. And there we go. Nice. We went 4 0. Killed them. And our stamina for bow drawing is good. I think we're fine for now. Arrow of shock. That's good. Silver arrows are fantastic, thank you. 
and leave the iron arrows where they are. Yeah, those camps as a melee are tough to deal with. You often need to fight them or wait until their ammunition is depleted. Good. On the flip side, now comes uh, the more difficult part for an archer. key and let's drink some bottled water we got that and that fantastic To get out and kite them. Hmm. Oh boy, those frame rate drops will kill me. It's just a matter of time. Fantastic Poultry Sacks, don't need that. We're good. Yeah, I think we're fine. Okay, going in with uh, shield and melee weapon, just in case. We killed three. I somehow thought there's a last one in here. But I might have been wrong. Can sell that. Can sell that as well. One handed, good. Can definitely sell that. Awesome loot. Here for here. And there. And when we're now outside, we also got to be very careful. Yes, we're literally in the middle of a pit.
Okay, so far so good. That was Halted Stream Camp. Uh, off we go to the next bandit camp. Next up, we are fighting a fortress of bandits. Small one though. Let's reapply our buffs. Healing fortress not going anymore, so might as well do that. Very well. Good. You bandits are going to have a bow contest with us. I'm fine with that in general. They're using cover. That's the disadvantage of uh, having only archers in these camps. Whilst they absolutely oops, rock against melee builds, tend to perform quite poorly if you are an archer yourself. I'll take that one. Cool, now we still have the inside fortress. But before we go in there, let's just double check. Prentice lock. Gosh. Well, for starters, we have officially gotten our fir uh, gotten open our first chest. Good. So next up, I think there was a chest up here. No, but some hidden treasures. And a straggler. That it? That's your best? Well, I think that was pretty good. Took half of your hit points, my dear. Okay, time for the inside. Good, time to poke the hornet's nest and see if we can kite all of them. I think it's at least three or four, maybe more. It's a quite sizable fortress.
What? Okay, nope. We're out of here. I'm not going to fight an Atronarch. Yeah, we're going to keep our distance. I think it was a Frost Atronarch. Looking blue. Yep. It is one. We're dealing approximately zero points of damage against that. Going to waste any arrows. Time to run away. As far as we can. I love the good fight. Oh, look at you. Well, we can't handle a single one of you. Without the Atronach, uh, they are not as scary. So, Atronach despawned. Which leaves us to a few more bandits. Ah, he had lightning. Don't tell me he's a mage. That would completely ruin our day. Good, I think we had... No. I thought we had uh, resist shock somewhere here. Not sure if we're fighting a mage, but if this is one... It's not gonna be fun. Oh yeah, we're fighting a mage. Uh, time to motor. What is causing these frame rate drops? That's unbelievable. Trying to use uh, the longer ranged bow here. Oh, yeah, he has a staff. Well, look at you. That's a higher level bandit. Staff of Lightning Bolts, uh, thank you. Elven Armor, wow, that is nice. Let's just double check. I mean, our Thief Skilled Armor is. Approximately as strong, but has improved the carry weight quite a bit. <clears throat> so it's unfortunately no no. And we picked up a stab. I wonder should we even use that? <clears throat> I 
Maybe we can do a bit of a fire and forget with the staff. Just trying to use it and um, and basically throw it away once it's gone. The lightning in it might actually be quite powerful. Like, what are we going to deal with? 90 points of shock damage. And we can run it together with a shield, which is a huge advantage for us. For more physically resistant targets. Okay, attempt number two in conquering. There's still someone here. But as far as I'm concerned, we sh should have killed most of the bandits. Potion of stamina, good. That's fantastic. These are cash items. I just cook and clean and do whatever it is they ask of me. Well, that's fine, and I don't mind that, Astrid. You're a cool lady. <coughs> Let's close the door. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, these are knives. I thought for a second these uh, were... Um, Lockpicks. That would have been so cool. And lock picks right there. More upstairs, more downstairs, and that would be the prison. I don't fancy myself going into the prison yet. I think we're doing downstairs first. Remarkable healing potion. That's nice. That's really good. Okay. Apparently no one here. They had a red problem though. Good time for the upstairs. And there's the chest we were looking for. Very nice loot. little fortress I like it and we have one more bandit camp gosh white run has so many bandits it's unbelievable that's a really really good location for a start next up on our menu we are at Redoran's retreat got a couple of camps already cleared out uh, this one is the next logical
Good. Uh, we don't want to deal with that. There's always stupid tricksters, mages. Ice wind, yeah, we don't need that. Resist, healing, healing portraits, some intestines would be good. And whilst we're at it, let's drink up. The matrix. I mean, we need to uh, increase our hit points a bit. The mages are hitting incredibly hard. And I can't be in a situation where a single hit basically is game over. Currently, we're still okay. It's none of them hit that hard. Good, we got 10 food, that must be enough. I'm thinking about our carrying capacity. The disadvantage about this character is you guys gotta see me struggle through Requiem's rather tight uh, opening of chests. Very small uh, issues can already cause your lockpick to go bust. I think we're okay. Money, a nice treasure map, lots of lockpicks to make up for the ones that we've lost. Cool. And a way to rest. Whilst we are doing exactly that, how about how about looking at uh, the next steps, looking a little bit ahead? I would want to have dexterity to 30. Because that's required for the next perk. Smithing to 25 and then I guess we would need to go ahead with marksman. Uh, ship. Good. Smithing looks fine. Yeah, we wanted to level health for now. Just to get that extra bit. And that extra perk. Would be into fingertip grip. Reduce the stamina consumption from drawing a bow by 20%. Uh, the next one would require 45. 
I could make an argumentation that we want to go there next, just to get uh, that for faster draw speed. But I actually think that the uh, perks in Marksman are better. We'll come back to Dexterity in a bit. Good, that was uh, easy. Let me hand in the quests and uh, see what else we can do. I think there is a bit more, a few more bandits here and there. Hey, it's early evening. I handed in all of the quests and <clears throat> got a lead for another bandit captain here. The Silver Moon uh, hideout. We killed almost everything, but the Silent Moon camp inside, not yet. There would be only a few enemies, really. Oh nice, we poisoned our bow and it seems to work quite well. <laughs> Iron bolts, yeah both of them were Unfortunately, crossbow wielding. Fantastic. Come on. Getting ridiculous. Please. Thank you. Okay. Very, very good. Don't need that. Don't need that either. Bit of fortify health, which is good. I also created a few new potions. So we got a bit of burning oil. I put in some fortify mar uh, marksman strength potions. Uh, for heavier and more difficult enemies. And I got these here, potions of resist uh, piercing. Figured those would make sense. So that we're not getting one shot by archers. We're still a bit too low on hit points and I don't want to play a glass cannon. You think that original Skyrim already has it bad with opening locks? No, no, no. Our level of, oh my god, our level of expertise. It's really not that simple. Okay, cool. So I'll hand in that one and we're going to do the final level up for this episode. As a steward, the fight with the storm. Excellent. You've done us a great service. Here is your reward. Good. Thank you. Which neatly brings us to leveling up smithing because we can use that soon. 
And I think now it's time for marksmanship to get to 50. The kill speed of uh, this build is a bit higher than in previous episodes, which also means we've already reached level 7 by this episode, but that's fine. Nothing wrong with uh, leveling a bit faster. So, Marksman I will keep the perk for now. Um, the piercing shot definitely would be helpful. And Marksman Focus is the big one that we're saving for. And then eventually transitioning into quicker draw speed. So, Graters will be invested once we reach 50 and get that to 60. And that would be a really solid first starter for the build. Dexterity looks good as well. There is another draw speed increase, but we are only going to go to 45 here once we are at 50 plus marksmen. Smithing could be an option. But um, in order to really make that work, we need 60 smithing. So that comes a bit later. And we're currently using, using and abusing the fact that uh, our race can just brew potions as is. So I'm not even sure when we're going to dip into alchemy. For now, it's absolutely fine. Cool. Which brings us to the end of today's episode. Uh, Geoffrey Deloch says uh, thank you. Uh, merci beaucoup. Uh, and we will see each other hopefully in the next episode if you uh, are a fan of archery uh, try hitting the bull's eye which is the li uh, likes button and uh, see what happens i promise you if you click it hard enough uh, there might be a thumbs up take care and see you in the next episode bye bye